Hello everyone, it's Adam Waller from sbssboss.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can export your file from Excel into SPSS or how you can import an Excel file into SPSS. Most students copy and paste data from Excel into SPSS, not knowing that there's a way that you can actually import an Excel file into SPSS. I'm going to show you how to do that easily and most importantly how you can do that from SurveyMonkey. For those of you who are not aware of SurveyMonkey, SurveyMonkey is one of the leading platform that you can use to collect responses from participants and it allows you to import your files directly into SPSS. But before you can do that you will need to upgrade your account to a premium or gold account as they call it. But in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can easily export your file from SurveyMonkey into Excel and then from Excel into SPSS, saving you the time that you would spend copying and pasting or the money that you'll spend in upgrading to Pro. If you're a student, you may not be able to afford the Pro version. The first thing you will need to do is that you need to log into your SurveyMonkey account and go to the particular questionnaire that you want to export data for. And you can just click on this link for analyze results. And when you click on that link, it will take you to analyze results. When you're here, all you have to do is select export all and make sure you select all responses data. When you click on that, go to open in Microsoft Excel or you can open in advanced statistical and analytical software. But I'm going to be using Excel file because we're working with Excel at the moment. Once you click on this link, you will see that there's a drop down here with condensed column and cells actual answer text. Pay attention now, this is where most people make the mistake. When you click on actual answer text, it's going to collect the actual answers. For example, if the question was what is your gender or what is your sex and someone says one is male, two is female. If you click actual answer text, it will only show female and male. But if you change it to numeric value, it will show you one and two in Excel file. And this is the one you want to import into SPSS, not the actual answer test. Because if you import this into SPSS, you're going to have a string variable and not a numeric variable. And for most of your analysis, which is going to be quantitative, I guess, you are going to be using numeric variables and numeric values and not actual answer test. So you have to make sure that you select the numeric value. This is very important. And if you get this wrong, you might end up not being able to open your data correctly into SPSS. Now with this option, the problem is that for all the questions that you have, which are qualitative, where you're asking the participant to enter some words or to type something or to write something, or questions like if order, please specify, they won't be recorded as numeric. They will remain text. And when you import them into SPSS, they will be string variable. Now that we've selected numeric value, all we have to do now is click on export. And that will begin the process of exporting the file. As you can see, it's loading here. And when it's done, you will be able to download that file and then open it in Excel before you can open it in SPSS or you can just go to SPSS directly to open the file. Now, this file says that the export is complete. All we just have to do is download that file. So click on download. That file will be downloaded to your computer. Now, the next step is to go into your SPSS if you don't need to edit the Excel file. But if you need to edit the Excel file, first go into Excel. So go into your download folder click on your download folder, this is your data, click on Excel, and it's usually called Sheet 1. In most cases, the data file will be called Sheet 1. Double click on that Sheet 1 and examine what it looks like. You will see all sorts of irrelevant information like response, ID, collector ID, start date, IP address. What you can do is just clear out all this information. So clear out all this information so you're only left with the data you really need. So just delete that. Now, before you actually move on to import your data into SPSS. You have to note that you have two columns representing variable label for each of the variable. Each column represents one variable in your questionnaire. The first thing you will need to consider here is to delete this one column as this will lead to confusion when you want to import your file into SPSS. 